January 3, can you use a bobber in bass fishing? Is there some kind of technique available for wintertime fishing where a bobber, a bobber, real red and white bobber, Good morning, guys and girls. January 3rd. January 3rd, reading from a Catch a Better Life book on the Catch a Better channel on YouTube. Uh, I tell you what, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please, pretty please, subscribe to this channel right now. If you are subscribed, please get one or two or three of your buddies to subscribe to this channel. We've got over 27,000, some of the greatest people in the world on this channel. We start every day with a scripture from the Word of God. We have a devotional that I wrote built around fishing and a fishing tip for every single day. Your life will become better in 2024, promise you, if you get involved in the Catch a Better Life channel on YouTube. It costs absolutely nothing to be on that channel, one of three channels we have on YouTube. January 3rd, we're looking in the book of Psalms, Psalm 27, 8, and it says, When you said, Seek my face, my heart said to you, Your face, Lord, I will seek. Oh, I love this. I love that verse. I love that verse. Tournament fishermen tend to cover every part of their bodies with masks, gloves, long sleeves, hoodies to protect themselves from the sun. It's all but impossible to recognize any of them out on the water nowadays. I mean, you don't know who anybody is. If you don't know how their boat is wrapped, you don't even know who you're looking at fishing on some of these television deals at tournaments that they have. At one time, I remember back during the coronavirus pan pandemic, my wife, Chris, went into our local bank. <laughs> she come out and told me, man, I feel really funny walking into a bank wearing a mask. I'd imagine, <laughs> I'd imagine. Wasn't that a crazy deal? We all had to wear a mask. We all had to wear a mask. Pretty well everybody caught it anyway. It was just absolutely dumb having to wear a mask, I guess. Anyway, God asked us to seek his face. His face, he wants us to see his face. He doesn't wear a mask, never wears a mask. He is asking us to get personal with him. That's what he means when he says, seek my face. He wants believers to have a personal one-on-one -on -one relationship with him. Think about that. Ain't that something? God wants you and me to have a one-on-one -on -one personal relationship with him. The God who created the universe, the God who flung the stars into existence, wants to be involved in everything that you and I do. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that really a special love that God has for us? He wants to be involved in everything that we do. If your relationship with God is long distance and not personal, ask him to come into your heart, into your heart, into your heart. You see up here on King David, what King David says here? When you said, seek my face, he didn't say anything about his eyes. He said, my heart said to you, your face, Lord, will I seek, not my eyes. My heart said, your face, Lord, will I seek. Ask God to come into your heart. Make him Lord of your life. Put him first in everything you do. And watch amazing things happen in your life in 2024. Here's our tip for today, and it's a good one. Small hair jigs. We was talking about bobbers, Jimmy. <laughs> Small hair jigs fished under a bobber. There you go are great in clear, cold water. Sometimes we fish these hair jigs 10 or 12 foot down under that bar. And a, the basic way that most of the people fish it in these uh, in these, these clear water lakes in the cold winter time is just make a long cast at that thing on a windy day and let that thing drift along with the wind. That little hair jig down there, six, eight, 10, 12 foot down, just drifting along with that bobber. Bobber goes under, set the hook. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one. And remember, I sure do love you.